Welcome back to Equipped Endure. I am Rusty, and we've got James here from Sport Hansa, and he's petting his axe like a cat here. But Sport Hansa is the main importer for Helen knives, for Agdor products, uh, Holtz Brooks, right? Yep. And then Kopika stuff. So we're going to have James here tell us a little bit about the different product lineup and then what's new for the show. So let's go ahead and start with Heli. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks, Rusty, for, for coming out yeah. and uh, visiting with us today. Uh, the first stop here is Hella. They've been around since 1932, handcrafting knives in Norway. Uh, they use natural materials, um, premium steels, and um, you can see a lot of different varieties here. Filet knives, um, handcrafted. This is actually one of our best sellers. It's a very odd looking knife, but a uh, very traditional Norwegian style, good grip. Uh, we also work with Les Stroud, Survivor Man. Yep. This is one that he made a little while ago. It's called the Mandra. It's a three-fingered neck knife, a full tang, um, curly birchwood. Um, another one of uh, Les Stroud's models is the Tamagami. This is a great bestseller. Yep, I remember when that came out. Yep. Three-quarters tang, uh, really comfortable. A lot of people really like the way that feels out. in hand. Yeah, you know, I was looking at these earlier, so I actually have this model. What's the new name of it? Arv, it means heritage. Uh, Arv, and so if I recall correctly, this is actually reindeer horn that like the local Sami will go get and bring down, right? It's um, antler shed. Yeah. Antler shed, okay. From caribou, right? Um, actually, I think it's it's deer. Is it deer? Um, I'm pretty sure it's okay. deer. Got Local it. deer. They, they were having um, a hard time sourcing it, but um, someone came in with a bunch of shed. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now they've got a lot more. Yeah. Um, so I love my Helen knives. I've got that one. I've got another one called the Gaupe, I think. Mm -hmm. Gaupe, I'm not sure. Gaupe. Gaupe. So anyway, yeah. And the Les Stroud one made some waves there a few years ago. Uh, tell us a little bit about this guy. That was a fun story. So this is known as the Utvar. Utvar. It's named after a group of islands, uh, the westernmost islands in Norway, a really rugged place. Um, there's actually a spot on Utvar Island where it's said that Vikings would sharpen their swords on the rocks before heading out on raids, and you can see the lines in the rocks. <laughs> um, so it, it's got a lot of history uh, behind it as far as Scandinavian design. It's made by Jasper Voxnes, um, or rather it's designed by Jasper yeah. Voxnes. And uh, made it hella, handcrafted. It's a full tang knife, 12C27 uh, Sandvik steel. So it's Swedish steel, made in Norway and designed by a Danish knife designer. So it's the uh, now, Scandinavian triple threat. One thing that I know is triple threat, there you go, the trifecta. So one thing I noticed about this is a narrow handle compared to a lot of the other ones, but it's actually really comfortable. And I don't have huge hands, but large hands. And um, that's interesting right there. But with that palm swell there, or with the, the pommel there, it really feels like it's snug in there. It's, it's a big knife. Um, you know, as far as the blade to handle ratio, yeah, yeah. It, um, it does complement the hand quite nice. Yeah, it's a nice blade. I like that one a lot. So if you recall, we did a quick YouTube live video where we unboxed this guy and we were excited to unbox it. So this is the 26 inch Agdor Yankee felling ax, right? But we've got a whole lineup here. So tell us a little bit about what's going on. So the Agdor line is actually 100 years old, but it's new to the US. Um, these are based off of traditional American uh, axes from the 19th century. So that's a Yankee pattern. Uh, we have a Swedish splitting pattern with a 20 inch handle, and then a Montreal pattern, which has a really wide blade. So you can see the differences here. Yeah, it's got a bigger bit there. A lot of different selection. Um, these are hand forged Swedish steel axes with an American hickory handle. Uh, and, and they're just a little less hand finished than our premium line. So if you look at, compared to, so here's two very similar axes. Yeah, that's got that mirror finish on the bit, you know? So you can see one one has a lot more hand finishing. Um, so, so that's where the difference really lies. They're both hand forged Swedish steel, uh, both American hickory handles. Uh, one's left black from the forge and polished, sharpened, razor sharp. And this is the Holtzbrooks line. Yes, um, and, and Agdor is part of the Holtzbrook uh, line. It's just a sub-brand that's been around for quite a while. And that's why you see this blue paint and this sticker is actually from the 1960s branding. Um, so a little classic Classic. There. Yeah. All right. Um, those are the differences um, kind of between premium and the Agdor line. So these are, uh, you know, Russ, you're probably familiar with this design. Yeah, the, um, the classic Kuxa. And, and so these are a composite, it's wood and plastic. And the benefit to that is that it's dishwasher safe. It's a little easier to maintain, um, but you can still etch in these, which I thought was cool. So you can personalize. That is a good point. 
Yeah, you could sit by and just kind of carve in that, right? Definitely. Now, what is it's a wood with a resin, then, right? Compressed or what is this? Yeah, it's 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 wood with a, a plastic uh, resin. I'm not exactly sure on that one. Okay. Um, it's been a while since I've worked with. So will that. it will it melt then? If you took like a hot knife or something or hot needle, would that kind of? I think you could at a certain point. Yeah, um, it is dishwasher safe. So maybe it to maybe brand it with a certain logo. You could logo brand or it or maybe use. Um, something to etch it with, but I have seen people customize these. Like Pyroform or Scrimshaw or something. Okay, so real quick, so let's run through this line. So we got more of a bowl type, so it's almost a mess kit, right? Yep. And then a deeper cup there. You could do that for soup or your drink, right? Totally. What is this, a little charcuterie board? What is this? Yeah, I, absolutely. I've actually um, used that to make a smorgly board there and a uh -huh. smorgasbord uh -huh. and, um, you know, sporks. And then this one was kind of a cool, cool design. It's a, uh, you know, your fire starter, got an ISPO award. With a striker. Oh man, I'm not. There you go. I wasn't doing this right. It's been a while. Yeah, okay. Um, but a nice composite there. Oh no, so you got a bigger tray and then what, what is the point of this guy? Shot glass. Chalk glass? Shot. Oh, shot, shot glass. Shots. I was joking. That's what no, it is. No, it's, it's a shot glass. All right. Before they, before the Vikings run off to war, that's what they <laughs> use. Huh? Okay. And then we got more like a, uh, this reminds me of a fajita tray. Is that what we got here? <laughs> what do you use this for? Definitely, you know, you could use that for serving around camp or if you're a big eater. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. So we're, yeah. Now, you guys are just the main importer of this. And then you have retailers that are pushing this out, right? That's right. And Sport okay. Hansa is an importer and distributor. Um, so they bring in the brands from European countries Got and it. then uh, distribute them here in the U.S. And uh, all the brands have some kind of unique story behind them or a, a unique way of doing things. Very um, so cool. it's not your average uh, outdoor kind of equipment. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thanks for checking this out, James. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Rusty. It's we're great. looking forward to testing this stuff out, but we're already big fans of the Heli and, and some of these other things. So thank you. Appreciate it.